So hello folks, welcome to Airgun Adventures again. And um, this is part two to the uh, pellet test with the Varark HW97.22 caliber. Um, as you can see there's three targets up there and the pellet is out at 50 meters this time. There's no wind at all hardly. Um, and as you can see there's three targets. The first two are the pellets that I carried over from the first test that did really well and that's the Acupel field target pellet and the air arms field pellet. Uh, the third one up there is the Predator Polymag, which I've just purchased, so I'm just going to really see how that does, really. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the test. 50 metres, no wind. Um, I'm going to be balanced on the top of my car again, so let's see how we do. Right folks, really struggling to find a winner between these two, Air Arms Field and Acupel Pellets. So I'm going to have a shoot off. Um, I'm going to have 10 pellets at each target. Um, and the one that wins, or the tightest group I get, I shall be sticking with that brand. So I'll shoot off it is then. I'm going to start off with the Air Arms Field Pellets. Now the Polybank Pellets are a bit erratic in the Springer. Although they are really good in my Air Arms Rifle, the PCP. Um, just quickly spin round and show you where I'm going to be shooting from. That's my car over there. 50 metres away. And the pallets set up nicely now with two fresh targets on. Targets are a bit bigger, but the bullseyes are still pretty small. So let's have a shoot off them folks, see which one wins. Right then, there goes then, the air arms field pellet, 10 pellets then.
Right, I got a bit carried away with the shooting there, guys. I think I shot a few more, but as you can see, they're all on target. Um, Breeze is pushing them over left and right a tiny bit. But I'm happy with that. So let's see how the uh, Akipel do then. Right then, uh, the deciding group between the two. The Akipel's up next, 10 pellets. Um, obviously this is gonna tell me which one's gonna be the best out of the two to uh, use in my Virac 97, 2.2 caliber. So quite exciting, 10 shots then, decider.
Right then folks, as you can see my dilemma now. I pulled that last shot there by the way on the left. That's my dilemma. Um, I hadn't adjusted the scope at all. Um, the acapel falling slightly higher than the air arms because obviously the air arms a bit heavier. But group wise, obviously the breeze. As you can see, very, very similar groups. So out the two, I think I'm going to stick with the air arms, obviously because of the knockdown power. And uh, they've already proved to me they can do it in the high wind. So that's the pellet I'm going to go with, guys. The air arms field. So um, thank you for bearing with me on this long-winded test. But um, I got there in the end with it. So the air arm's slightly tighter, actually. Um, so yeah, the right choice. Right then, folks, that brings uh, the video to an end then. Uh, part two video of the Virarc 97.22 pellet test. Um, tested seven or eight brands of pellets. Um, got it down to two brands in the end. Now, I'm not saying the other brands weren't any good, but these two I stuck with. Um, had a shoot off at the end and st still don't really know out of the two which one's the best group obviously because of the, a little breeze again today and me being on the top of my car like that ain't the best but they both perform really well uh, the poly mags were a bit erratic but um, I wasn't really expecting much from them anyway they're really good in my air arms rifle um, so yeah that brings the uh, test into an end then folks I'm going to stick with the air arms now um, so thank you for joining me on this long-winded test and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Shh, be very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> <laughs>